Hey golfers, Michael Geiger here with Second Swing. I'm sitting down once again with Mr. Larry Bobka, master fitter here at the Minnetonka Second Swing location. Larry, today we're talking about something you know very well, the fitting process. Yep. And we're talking about, we're kind of zooming back about the big misconceptions about the fitting process that golfers at home might have. Um, maybe starting with the interview. I know that's a big part of, of the fitting process for you. Right. Kind of talk about the interview and maybe what some people might have wrong about it kind of in their heads before they walk in. Well, I think one, you know, I think one of the misconceptions is, you know, one, I'm not that good a player. Should I really get fit for golf clubs? You know, it really helps the better player get fit, which is totally wrong. You know, during our interview process, we try as much as possible to talk to the player, find out how they play, where they play at, what they do right, what they do wrong, are they taking lessons, are they, you know, are wor they working on golf fitness, are there any, um, do they have anything that's going to stop them, any health issues, you know, I've got two artificial hips, arthritic back, you know, that would be very important that if I'm going in and coming in and getting fit by one of our guys, I'm going to let somebody know that, right. because, you know, I don't turn as well as I once did. So that might limit what I can do and that might help the fitter find a better golf club for me. So, you know, I would say the biggest misconception coming in is, is one, you know, that maybe they're a little fearful about not telling the truth in it, but be, be open and honest about it. You know, it's like, hey, if I'm going to the doctor and my shoulder hurts, you know, and you can't sleep at night or you can't roll over on the shoulder, that's important information the doctor needs to know. So we need to know that information. Sure. Um, and you just have to, you have to figure out that, hey, if I'm trying to play better, if I want to get a new set of golf clubs, you're obviously here for a reason. Mm -hmm. There's obviously some frustration. I mean, I don't know any golfer anywhere at any level that's ever totally satisfied with their golf game. I mean, if you find that person, I'd like to meet him because I, you know, in 61 years on this earth, I haven't found that person yet. So you're, you're in here for a reason. Well, let's find out. Let's dig into that reason. Don't be afraid to, you know, all of a sudden you walk out, you get fit for a driver and, well, you know, today I might have been hitting it left in the bay, but I normally hit it right. Mm -hmm. It's information I need to know about. It's to understand. The misconception, I think one of the biggest misconceptions is like, hey, we fit you, you get your set of clubs, see you, bye, we're never going to see you again. Okay? That's the farthest thing from the truth. Mm -hmm. Every one of the fitters gives out, his, gives out his phone number, his cell phone number, gives him out his email address. We're here to follow up. Right. I mean, if something that you purchased isn't working exactly the way it is, we want to know about it. You bring it back in. You tell us about it. That's important. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's, it's, like, it's like buying a car and all of a sudden, you know, the steering doesn't work. You're going to take it back to the dealer if you can. You'll probably get it towed back to the dealership. But you got to, you know, you're going to want to take it back and get it working right. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing with a golf club. So that's another big misconception that it's like, it's, okay, it's done, you're fit, finished. Right. Farthest from the truth. I think using the, the medical analogy is a good one because if I get surgery on my shoulder, I'm going to come back in and they're right. going to take a look at it and make sure everything's good. And I think Second Swing kind of offers that same level of kind of outpatient golfer yeah, care. Yeah, and you're going to get you're going to get physical therapy. You're going exactly. to exactly. So yeah, it's important to it's important to feel like and, and as your golf game evolves, I mean, if if you decide that you're you know you're hey you're a ten handicapper now and you've decided to go see a golf pro once a week, once a month, whatever, and, and change your golf swing, get your golf swing better, well, there's a possibility that that golf club that you're originally fit for six months from now is not going to work as good as it once did, or right. three months from now it's not going to work. So that's where you have to come back and say, well, you know, now my golf swing looks better than ever, but my golf club's not working anymore. Mm -hmm. Come see it. Come talk about it. I mean, especially when it comes to drivers and fairway woods and hybrids that are adjustable. Right. I mean, when we do a fitting, one of the misconceptions is, hey, you know, you just got fit for it, and there you are, and you're in a certain setting, and that always has to stay. No, it doesn't always have to stay that way. It's going to change. Things change. Your body changes. You know? I mean, hey, 
I had hip surgery. You lose weight, you gain weight, Wh whatever it be. Your shoulder, you know, we had shoulder surgery. Yep. You know, that driver now might play better in a different setting. It might play better with more loft. It might play better where it's the drivers, you know, bias left or right. Mm -hmm. So, got to follow up. Yeah, you gotta, I think you got to keep that going for sure. I think the biggest point for the golfers at home is be open communication with the fitter. Give them as much information um, as you can, and just just arm you with as much to to help them fix their game. Because, like you said, holding back information isn't going to do any good. No, holding back information and just really being, you know, one of the things that, that one of the, another misconception is people come in and say, oh, you know, I hit the ball low, I hit the ball high. Well, who's that related to? Right. Okay. We're going to see the numbers here. You need to see the numbers. But... If I play with a bunch of 80 year old guys that hit it 10 feet off the ground, my ball flight looks high. Right. Okay. I play on Thursdays with the younger guys, Aaron Roth, one of the other master fitters here. My ball flight's medium to low compared to them because they have more speed and more height and they hit the ball a lot higher in the air. So it's all relative. Mm -hmm. So that's where, you know, just trying to give us information. We need all that. We need right. all that kind of, so the feedback's great. Uh, I think this is a great topic. The other thing is, it's not rocket science. It's not brain surgery, because Lord knows if it was, I couldn't do this. Um, this is about coming in and playing better golf and having fun with it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think if there's one thing that most people, as they leave and they come out, they're like, oh, this, is, this was kind of painless. Well, yeah, it's not, we're not going to the dentist. We're not getting teeth pulled. We're just going to make you play better golf. We're going to have fun with this. That's our, that's our job. You know, and you have to remember here, second swing, none of the fitters are on commission. Our only, our only job is to try to make you play better. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're, my, my saying for this is we're golfers trying to help golfers. Right. And that's the way you need to look at it. So. Folks, if you're out there, if you want to come get fit, if you're worried about getting fit, come on in, have a good time. Especially, you know, sometimes older players, ladies, juniors, well, do I need this? Well, yeah, come on in. It's not, it's not going to hurt you, and you're going to learn something, and there's not a huge financial commitment. You know, you, you purchase something, you're going to be fine. I think it's all good. Well, you heard it from the man himself. Come into Second Swing, get fit, and start playing better golf. Larry, thanks again for your time. You're welcome. Cheers.